Well, today I thought we'd have a look at uh, a new printer that I've got. Uh, it's a Photon S uh, resin printer. Never had a resin printer before. Uh, we've had a, a filament printer, and it, it's okay. It's okay for doing large stuff, and then you sand it and 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 sand it some more, and you get okay results out of it. So when we were looking for a new printer, we thought, you know, resin, we've seen one on YouTube and thought, yeah, it seems all right. And we bought this one and it's really good. And it, it works in a, a, a different way to a, a filament printer, which I'll explain uh, shortly. But this is the actual machine um, and it's all very clever. It's a standalone, so you don't have to have a, a resin tank and a filament base. I it goes up and down. Um, it prints stuff upside down for various reasons. Um, and like I say, it's standalone, so everything's kept on a USB drive, so you download your, your program, and then it prints it layer by layer, and it shows you on the little screen what it's going to print. So there you go, so that's just printing a layer of those white parts. Um, and it uses uh, UV light to cure the resin. And, um, I did have a bottle of resin. Oh, there we go. So resin comes like this, you get various different colours, uh, you fill the tank and then uh, you have to keep an eye on it because it does empty out, but uh, we'll go back to the model room and I'll explain how it works and show you some of the prints. Okay, so the way this works is, if you imagine, you've got a build plate and that's the part that rises up and down and then you've got a tank of resin bit choppy uh, and then underneath the tank of resin you've got an LCD screen and under that you've got a UV light source so the way it works is the each each item you get so say you wanted to print you know a little bust or something it's the program slices it up into lots of different layers and then the screen, the LCD screen, if you imagine we're looking from it from above, like the one we I just showed you on the thing, so it would, this bed would come down and trap a paper thin layer of resin. So that comes down, traps the resin, and then the light comes on and it shines through the LCD screen. And the LCD screen is completely black except for the slice. So if you imagine the first slice would look like that. Can you see that? Um, so the light shines through that, so it's shining up, shines on that one little segment, and the UV cures the resin. And then this is down here, so it's attached to that. That rises, takes that slice with it of the cured UV resin, and because light goes in straight lines, it, you know, it does perfect patterns. So that rises, comes back down, traps another paper-thin slice, the next slice, is on the screen, light comes on, and it builds up the next layer, and the next layer, and the next layer, and it does it upside down, so you end up with your bust upside down on the build plate. Um, it's very simple how it does it. Um, it's very complicated to set up, you have to do lots of different things to, to like level the base and that, much easier than the, the old Easter egg wrapper, uh, much easier than the, uh, the filament one, which well, we're no end of trouble, but what you can do with it. So the first print you get, which is a test one, and it's it prints this, and this has had nothing done to it other than when it comes off the build plate, you have to wash it in isopropyl alcohol to get any uncured resin off of it, and then it dries. So this has had no sanding, no nothing, and as you can see, it's a perfect finish. So this prints out, and obviously we're used to the the uh, filament one so this is revelation it's like magic it's like wow got to be a fluke hasn't it so then we th we're looking around for things to do so you can do things like this so this is a spock bust and this is in you can get flesh and i use flesh in inverted commas because obviously everyone's skin slightly different um you get flesh colored resin which is like matte finish but look this is this has not been sanded not been anything done this is exactly as it was scraped off upside down dried off and then cured in a, a UV sort of nail curing light lamp set. And it's amazing. There's no styration marks. Smooth, takes paint straight away. 
Um, so we printed a little bust, that was sort of quite interesting. We thought, how small will it go? So we printed this. Uh, this is Lucy from uh, Disenchanted, the, the uh, Matt Groening show, brilliant show, don't know whether it will ever come back. Now imagine this is tiny, um, I'm just thinking of a coin or anything to show you next to it. Um, let's have a look, so you know what size paint part is, look how small that is. It's how thin it is, it's absolutely amazing detail. Again, nothing trimmed, that's how it comes out of the mould. So we thought, looking around for things to do, so I thought I'd print off a 2001 Spaceman. This is Frank Paul, dead. I've got to mount him on a stand. Um, and this is pretty much, not obviously I've painted it, but this is pretty much how it came out. So I did this in clear resin, so he's got a clear visor. Um, so great fun, really good stuff to build. But then I thought, Blake 7, innit? I want some Blake 7 stuff. Because um, I'm, I'm into Blake 7, I do me uh, Blake 7 in character podcast with my mate Eric. Um, so Blake 7's always on my mind. So I was looking around and seeing what prints there are. And there's a few about, uh, and this is the Liberator. So if you imagine this is upside down on the, on the build plate, imagine that's the plate, so it builds it up, and it's like a little space city. So this is in clear resin. Um, it's been stood on the windowsill, so it's it's decolored slightly. I've, I've probably over cured it. Um, and then you just trim them off, and it cuts quite nicely. Uh, and I thought, wonder what they paint up like, so I painted a few up to show you. So this is that Liberator kit made up. It's a thing of beauty. Look at that. And they paint really nicely. It takes, this resin takes uh, primer lovely. And this one I left clear and then just put some green tint. So you've got, it looks like, a you know, the glass dome at the back. So there's the Liberator. Gorgeous. So then I thought, better do the Scorpio. So I did a little Scorpio. Um, and the good thing about these is because the files you download, you can design them yourself if you're talented, but you can download from like thingiverse.com. Um, you can size them to anything so you can make it a bit bigger. I did, uh, while I was painting it, I broke the uh, antenna bit off, so I need to repair that. So a little bit bigger. And you can go up to a build size. I mean, you saw that astronaut. He was main, He was apart from the helmet and the boots, he was sort of one piece. So you can go quite large. Um, so I did those and then I thought, Little London, because that's being restored at the moment. Um, so I thought, do a little London. Is that focusing in? It's focusing on the Liberator. What a gorgeous little thing. And the detail that it gets on it. You'd never get this with a normal printer, but look at that. You can see the little tyres, wheels on the top. It's amazing. So yeah, I, I'm keeping a lookout. So I want a pursuit ship, obviously, to go with the set. But uh, if anyone's thinking of getting another printer or getting a printer, I'd seriously look at resin. It, um, I don't think it's going to work out any more expensive. The resin is about 16, 17 quid for a pot. Um, and we haven't even sort of scratched the, the surface of the first pot we used. You can get various different colours. Um, the hardest thing is putting these supports on because the more supports you have, the more stable it is when it's printing, but the harder it is to tidy up. So I don't know if you can see on the back of Frank Paul, you can see there's little bits where the sports were where I cut them off. You could fill them. I was in such a hurry to paint this, I didn't uh, didn't do it. Um, there's a, a cast of the Scorpio where we got the supports wrong. So you see the supports are so thick. But I thought I might do that as a crashed Scorpio, you know, and Blake when it crashes. Spoilers. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I hope you like look at these. If I do any more Blake 7 ones, I'll, I'll do some uh, do some more videos. Um, the other thing that I find it very handy for is I do a lot of uh, cosplaying. So things like badges. I've just done a Star Trek motion picture uniform. So you can just print off a badge. I did print this upside down, unfortunately, so you've got a little bit of a lip, but really good. You mentioned trying to make something like that. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, any questions on it, just uh, put them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not an expert on uh, resin printers by a long shot, but uh, I've learned a bit um, through trial and error. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks, Ed. Bye.
as a bonus feature, little bonus uh, feature. Here's my cat washing its ass. You don't get that on many YouTube channels, do you? Thanks then. Bye.